Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today it is time for my second update for Pam Those Eyeshadows. This project of course was started by Alexandra Schirstein and it has been done by many since. And this is my fifth year doing it I guess because I love it. And I randomize my eyeshadows and then I hit pan on them, roll in new ones. And today's update is a good one again. We get to roll in new eyeshadows. So let's just get on it. So first shadow has been here for two months now since the introduction. And it is from the Colourpop Mean To Be palette, but I have it depotted. And look at that tiny shiny pan and a huge crater i think this is a funny looking pan but i use kind of a small dense brush with it so yeah that's what we got and it took me 16 uses to get here so yeah and as usual i'm wearing every shade on my eyes you can barely see that i have it on my lower lash line it is a very very light shade but yeah i was able to hit pan on it so and that one's rolling out then all the others i rolled in last time and first we have a shade from the by heart revolution uh, rose gold chocolate rose gold palette that is the dupe for the huda beauty and the shade i'm working on is this guy and you might be able to see that the dip is huge but no pan and um, yeah i have used this one 14 times and that's where we are i knew this was gonna take a while and this palette as a whole is the one i'm scared of putting in my project half pound half pound where i try to hit pan on half of the shades in each of my palettes and this is gonna be hard so but shade at a time we're working towards it but this guy is staying in the project then we have some more revolution this is the forever flawless into the night okay what am I saying? Holly Hollywood. What? <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. Okay. There are a lot of pants. This is the newest. And yeah. This. These are very shallow pants. And I knew I was going to hit pan on this one. It is a kind of a flaky shade. So I made it even easier. And I used it 10 times to get here. And it is in the outer part of my lids today so yeah it's a nice cool toned brown shimmer so yeah and this guy is rolling out as well and then the last one comes from another revolution palette this is the neutrals versus neutrals palette let's take the brush out before i drop it and in here lots of pans as well but this is the one i was working with so this actually didn't belong into this palette but i got rid of some palettes but i saved some shades and repressed them into a lot of pans so yeah it was i had already hit pan on the shade previously then i repressed it here so there wasn't too much left so it was very thin i was able to hit pan on it in five uses and that is what is on my lids right now so it's a nice mm, it has a kind of a cool undertone even though it's like an orangey gold so it's kind of interesting that's why i saved it but yeah we have pan on that one as well so three out of four again it was the same last time i'm rolling out and let's talk about pan percentage before i roll in some new shades because that is my main driver my motivation 
to see my pan percentage go up. And last time I had 196 pans in my eyeshadows and that was 37.1%. And last time, no, last year I already hit the 40%. That was my goal, but because then I decluttered some and yeah, took out the empty pans and then we dropped down again. So now I'm working towards the 40 and then eventually 50 and so on anyway since the last update i have 11 more pans but at least one maybe two i had forgotten to log in before last update so not all of them i hit this month but i did hit some pans so now i have 197 we're getting close to 200 which could be another nice goal to hit which should happen but anyway now my pan percentage is 39.3 so we went up 2.2 percent and we're super close to the 40 percent again so that is exciting that is exciting but what is even more exciting is to roll in some new shades so it will be pretty random once to start I have 293 eyeshadows without pants. Let's not do the shake because it goes weird. 127, 99, and 258. So let's start with 99. Who is. Oof. Magic mini. I'm scared because it might be a really hard warm tone matte, but I'm not sure. And then what did we have? 127. 127. Oh, that is a deep pocket or like a single shadow. Is that a green or a blue? I can't remember can't remember which way they went. I need to figure that out. But yeah, that is interesting. And then we had 258. Is that 258? Yep. That comes from the BA Be Perfect Carnival Antidote that I got from Ruth. It has a lot of shades, so I'm guessing it's going to be here. For a while or like quite often but if i ever want to hit half of those pounds i do need to work on it so i have no idea what shade this is but let me grab the palettes and figure out which one of the deep or the single shadows is which and i will be right back okay i think i have my shades figured out figured out because i had two of these single shadows that I did like repressed into pants that go into the magnetic palette and the one I got is called Envy and I have a dark navy and a green and for some reason the green is not the Envy that blue is I think so <laughs> this is the guy and I don't think I have used it even once after I repressed it here because you can still see the the like the paper towel marks on it so let's give it a swatch and uh, it's just a dark blue so yeah it is uh, well it's not the deepest pan so it shouldn't take too long even though it is a dark shade but I do have some shades to go with it that I'm trying to pass so should be okay then we have uh, this guy and the shade I rolled was Boronu and I have no idea what it is uh, okay it is the one that because this one needs one more pan to be half panned and I was like kind of waiting if I rolled it into this project because then yeah 
and I was like, I don't want it to be these guys. It's this one. I mean, it's kind of goes against my panda palette, but it is a bit more like coppery and I'm almost done with the gold anyway in that palette. So I think I think I'm going to still keep it in because I kind of wanted to hit pan on the greens or like this one, but yeah, I'm, I'm still way happier with this than if it would have been like this because so pigmented and kind of deep pants. But yeah, uh, that is that one. And then the guy, uh, this one, I have no idea what the shade is. It is called Mystic and I will try to find it. I have no idea where it is because I don't... Oh! <laughs> it's this guy. Okay, let's give it a swatch. Is it as dark as it looks in the pan? I think it is. Oh, it's, n it's not a... I thought it was like leaning green but it's leaning like purple it's weird i have swatched this but i i did not remember this because if it, it's with the greens it kind of maybe i was mixing with that one because that's dark green maybe it's supposed to be black but it leans but yeah i can yeah i can use that as a liner or something because last time i hit pan on this one it wasn't as hard as i feared it would be so yeah, I think it can be a liner or a deep in shade. I mean, I'm working on a few of those, but what am I not working on? So there's those. Let's watch the one staying in from the last time. And then we'll have our color story for next month. And I think it's, uh, it works. Yeah. I mean, these definitely go together. This goes with them and kind of with this as well. Yeah, it's a bit shame that these aren't here together, but yeah. Hmm. That's what we're gonna work on. I will see if I will have pan on any of these because I'm gonna be away for at least a week. And then probably have like four days. I know that I won't be doing any heavy makeup. Uh, so yeah. We'll see. But at least we had a good start for the year. With already six pans in this project. So. And this shouldn't be too hard. This I'm quite far along already. So. And this is not too deep. Mm, yeah. We'll see. But anyway. I am okay with this color story. Not as, as much bright colors as I would hope for spring, but with this one I can use my bright blues and greens and everything. So and that is nice. And that is everything for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I can't even speak. I've had a couple of heavy days with statistics courses. So, my brain is fried. If you've ever done statistics, you might be able to relate. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!